Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working on the purple sim from my Rainbow Sims Challenge series. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I'll link those on screen for you guys to go watch because since we're on purple, there's only two more episodes left. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the series and what you think I should do after. Do you like the sims? Should I keep doing sims or should I just like put a pause on it and focus on something else for now? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and with that, let's get into the video. Okay, so for the purple sim, I decided to name her Paige, and for her face, I just gave her some purple eyes, purple eyeshadow, and of course, some lashes. And then for her hair, I found this really cute pastel purple ponytail. For her everyday outfit, I started off with a purple sweatshirt with some high-waisted jeans and purple converses, but of course I changed my mind on the top like I always do, so instead of the sweatshirt, I gave her a cropped purple tank top. The dresses for formal wear were surprisingly not that bad, and I ended up picking a light purple lace dress. I paired the dress with some light purple heels, and then for makeup, I just gave her purple eyeshadow and lashes. My sporty outfits for all of my sims are pretty much the same, but I just love these shorts so much, they're so cute. So of course I picked the purple Nike shorts, and I paired it with a striped t-shirt and some purple converses. The sweatshirt that I found in the beginning, I ended up using for her sleepwear outfit. So she's wearing a cute little purple sweatshirt with some purple shorts and of course, bunny slippers and purple socks. Now her party outfit, I'm honestly not that impressed with. Like, I feel like there just wasn't a lot of options to pick from for this category. So I ended up just giving her a strapless purple dress with a denim jacket over it, but it's not really one of my favorite looks. Swimwear was a pretty simple choice considering that I only had a few options, but I actually really love this like default Sims one piece bathing suit. So I gave her that and I paired it with some purple sandals. For her warm weather outfit, I found this really cute like purple tie dyed cropped tank top. I've never seen this before. Apparently it's like a default item or something. I don't know, but it's super cute. I paired the tank top with my favorite custom content shorts, obviously some purple converses, and a choker. The last outfit is for cold weather and I just gave her like a little purple zip up pullover with some purple leggings. I also gave her snow boots, gloves, and a hat, but the boots and the hat are like a different kind of purple than the rest of the outfit, so it looks a little weird, but I didn't really have that many options. Okay, so just like the previous build, the purple house is going to have two floors and the area is six by 10 squares. I also made a smaller building on the right side of the house, which is three by three, and this is going to be a greenhouse. So I added a glass roof to the greenhouse and then I added light purple siding, a ton of windows to the front side of the house, and of course I added windows all around the greenhouse. So I wanted the second floor of this house to just be a bedroom, so I went ahead and I sectioned off the area that I wanted for the room, and this is kind of going to be like a bedroom balcony so the sim can look over onto the first floor. 
Since there were no purple stairs, I just chose white and then I also added an area for the bathroom on the first floor. There really weren't that many purple options for flooring, so for the bottom floor, I just ended up choosing like a light hardwood. Upstairs, I ended up picking a white carpet and then all of the walls are like a light pastel purple, but the bathroom has purple tile. The first area of the house that I started decorating was obviously the kitchen, and I have to say, I think this is like one of my best kitchens. I don't know why, but I really love the layout that I just did, and like, I, I don't know, I just really like it. So of course we have the island bar area with the white bar stools that I think I've literally used in every build so far, but I just think they're really cute, okay? And then I just added some items that you would probably find in a kitchen, like a sink, a stove, a dishwasher, and some other little decorations. Next up is the living room area, and I would be lying if I said that this was my first try decorating this space. I think I worked on the living room for like an obnoxious amount of time because I don't have any cute purple couches. All of the default couches are just like too square or just, I just don't like the way they look. So I just ended up using one that I downloaded. It's not purple, but it doesn't look too bad. I wish there was more purple in this area than just the carpet, but honestly, like, I really didn't have any purple items to decorate with, which is kind of annoying. So I guess the living room area is more of a neutral color palette. Since the bathroom is kind of small, I just kept it simple and I added the basics like a toilet, a shower, and a sink. Then I added a circle mirror above the sink, a little purple carpet on the floor, and I also added some purple towels. The last space inside of the house that I worked on was the bedroom, and this came out so cute! I love it so much! I decided to put the bed against the half wall where the stairs are. So we have the purple pillows on the bed, and then I found the cutest duvet cover ever. It's like black and purple space constellations, and I love it. I put a purple carpet under my bed, and of course I also added the little fuzzy carpet that I always put in these houses. Across from the bed, I decided to make a desk area, so I just added a desk with a chair and a computer, and then on the right we have a cute little bookcase. Then I just went ahead and added some posters above the computer, and a cute little clothing rack that just happened to have a purple sweatshirt on it. Then in that little area to the left side of the bed, I added a full length mirror and a plant. I also decided to get rid of the large computer and just change the items that I had on the desk a little bit. And then the last area is the greenhouse, so I have a cute little flower table in there with a bunch of purple flowers, and that's pretty much it for this episode. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the house is. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!